Ms. Igrid Bon is the project manager forward of the Programs and Project Management Division at the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers Jacksonville District. Her portfolio of projects includes the Herbert Hoover Dyke Major Dam Safety Rehabilitation Project, a project with a total budget of $1.8 billion, and the Indian River Lagoon South Ecosystem Restoration Project, with total costs of over $4.3 billion. On the Herbert Hoover Dyke Rehabilitation Project alone, she played a key role in advancing the schedule forward three years, with construction now due to be completed in 2022 instead of 2025, as originally estimated, and she realized significant cost savings of over $70 million. Ms. Bond first joined the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers in the Baltimore District's Construction Division. She took an assignment with the National Park Service Managing Ecosystem Restoration Projects in the Florida Everglades before joining USACE's Jacksonville Division, where she's been ever since. It was an honor to receive the Great Minds in STEM's STEM Hero Award. I thank the board for the opportunity to speak with you today. I specifically would like to address the high school and college students in the audience. You are very much like my son, who is a freshman engineering student at Florida Atlantic University. I spent most of my 28-year career as an engineer in the service of the American people. I was inspired to serve by my grandfather, who volunteered in the Army when the cold came in World War II, and my father, who volunteered to go to Vietnam. Both my parents were math teachers in the Puerto Rico public school system. Growing up, I had many examples of devoting one's God-given talents to the greater good. A person with an aptitude for science, technology, engineering, and math has a unique opportunity to help others, whether by reducing the risk of floods or reducing the impact to public health and the environment from the practices of the past, as some examples. The first engineer I ever met when I was an elementary school student was a young man who visited my rural home to ask my parents about the water supply problems our community was having. His interest in solving our community's lack of water and his kindness stayed with me to this day and inspired me to pursue an engineering career. Throughout this conference, you've seen very many examples of professionals who've devoted their career to service. I hope you too have been inspired by them. Thank you.